Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again for another Kitchen Science video with Miss Veronica and my friends over at Macbeth Academy. So today we're going to be looking at something called oobleck and that may sound really weird or really different, but in reality it's actually very simple. So oobleck is what's called a non-Newtonian fluid. So let's think about this a little bit. So oobleck is what's called a suspension. It's a suspension of cornstarch and water. So it's very simple to make. And so what this means is that it is a substance that can mimic the qualities of a solid or liquid. So a part, the uh, water is a Newtonian fluid. So this means it has a constant viscosity or how runny it is. And so that will never change. No matter if I push on it really hard, if I let it spill all over the place, if I put it in this container or a different cup, it's always gonna be the same. But there are things that are called non-Newtonian liquids. And so that's where it changes based on the amount of pressure you push on something. So the harder and harder you push on it, um, it can change. And so this, some other examples of this include silly putty or ketchup. So a lot of times you'll get silly putty and it'll be very, very watery and it'll kind of fall over the place. But as soon as you start to put a lot of pressure on it, it gets very, very hard. So today we're going to make our own. So you're going to need a baggie, some cornstarch, and water. And also just as a disclaimer, please do not eat anything that we make in our kitchen science videos. So now also it probably wouldn't taste very good. So you're going to take your baggie and you're going to do a ratio of one part water and one and a half parts cornstarch. So what I did was I did a cup of water and then I did a cup and a half of cornstarch and so really what you're going to do very carefully without making a mess you're going to take your baggie of cornstarch and you're going to add in your water simple as that then you're going to close up your baggie try to leave a little bit of air inside just so things can move around and now you're going to mix up your cornstarch and your water and you're going to try to mix it up very very good Okay, so try to mix it up as best as you can. So now you have what looks like a liquid. But if you press on it very, very, very hard, you'll feel it start to harden under your fingers. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see how, and if you're doing this at home, you'll be able to feel it. You'll see how it's kind of very hard for me to push, and it's very thick, but it's very watery around my fingers, so the parts that aren't being squished. And so this is what's called a non-Newtonian fluid. So it can behave as a water or as a liquid or as a solid. And so that is what our experiment is on today. And you can do this at home. You can add colors to it. I know it looks a lot like milk, but it's not a problem. And so that's kind of our different experiment for today. You can also change the amount. So if you want it, if it's too watery, you can add more cornstarch. If it's too thick, you can add more water and you can play with it and make it your own. So that is our experiment today with oobleck or non-Newtonian fluid. And I can't wait to see you guys next time for some more kitchen science. Have a good night.